What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video, we are opening up the December WrestleCrate UK mystery subscription box. <sighs> Alright guys, welcome back to another WrestleCrate UK unboxing here on the channel. It is the final box of the year, obviously the December box, and it has come early. They normally ship around the 24th, 25th or 26th of each month, but of course that is Christmas, so this box has actually come early. I guess we can say Christmas has come early. And just very quickly, if you're wondering what this box is all about, it's a monthly subscription mystery box where you have two tiers, a light tier and the regular tier. The light tier, obviously cheaper, but comes with less items. Speaking of those items, you can get things like DVDs, pins, vinyl figures, posters, comics. You always get at least one signed item as well as an exclusive t-shirt, like this Hayabusa t-shirt that we got in November's box. And with that, let's delay no further and get into the December box here, guys. So. I'm gonna feel around quickly as I always do and get rid of the cheat sheet. Ah uh, yeah, I forgot there was like a, uh, I know they like teased a Christmas ornament here. Was there a vinyl figure supposed to be in this one as well? I guess we'll find out shortly. So that looks to be a carded item. Okay, well this actually isn't the cheat sheet, but it is one of the, like they always give these kind of little giveaways or maybe not giveaways, like a month, free subscriptions that's what i meant to say so north wrestling enjoy a full north wrestling show made available free to watch just for wrestle crate subscribers uh, there it is right there and on the back how to watch watch us on patreon and then it has a whole bunch of details uh, on the back there i am assuming it's a uk wrestling organization although we got scotty too hotty there on the back uh, all roads lead north an event in February 2023 but yeah those, those sorts of things uh, or these sorts of things I should say always come in every box as well and right, then that's definitely the cheat sheet yep it is I'll toss that away without looking at it too much and now I normally always do the pin first yep I have let me just pop the box down here then and I'll show you guys first there we go guys it looks like The Undertaker here on the back. Apologies guys, there it is now in focus. Yeah, it's like an Undertaker design that says death on it. On the back here, it does show that we have a original, like a common version as well as a chase version. We did not get the chase version. The chase version, as you guys can see there, is all gold but yeah that is a pretty cool little pin there of the undertaker and we'll do this next because they showed it already on their site sometimes they do that to try and sell the box a little bit more there it is guys check that out well it depends which way uh you want to do it it is a little bit crushed like the box itself is crushed but it is an ornament like a bauble of stone cold steve austin giving the stunner to Santa Claus. Sorry, I actually thought it was the same, like every side. So there it is. And it says on the back here, Santa might not be real, but pro wrestling is. That is pretty cool to there. Hang on uh, any kind of wrestling fans Christmas tree. Yeah, I, I think that's very, very cool. I do like that a lot. All right, I'm rummaging around here, guys. I actually don't feel a DVD this time. So the vinyl figure may have actually replaced the DVD. I'm wondering what this is. It's quite heavy. It kind of feels like a book or a comic or something, but it is actually pretty heavy. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's actually a calendar. That's pretty cool. A 2023 calendar. What does it say here on the back? Kimber Last Kick. This calendar is an independent publication and in no way associated with any performer or company all photos are the sole property of Kimber Last Kick and used with her express permission. Published by WrestleCrate UK, an independent publication. So that's pretty cool. So we've got Stone Cold stunnering Kevin Owens there. So January 2023 starts off with Naomi with the glow. Will she come back to WWE? Who knows? Rumours that Sasha Banks is not coming back. So February 2023, that is my birthday month. We've got Brock Lesnar there. That's from the, was it Survivor Series, I think, when he faced Roman Reigns. He lifted up the ring with that tractor. March, we have Hook. Love Hook, the FTW champion there from AEW. What do we have then in April? We've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. I guess it's fitting. It's from WrestleMania, right? Uh, which took place in April. He's giving the stunner there to Austin Theory with Vince McMahon looking on. What else have we got here then? Uh, a lot of WWE so far. So May, we have Becky Lynch staring down Bianca Belair, Belair there, pardon me. Uh, not too sure when that was. June, then we move on to some AEW here. 
with the handshake between Brian Danielson and John Moxley with William Regal in the middle. Obviously, William Regal does now seem to be heading to WWE, although he hasn't, like, he's made a comment to say that he's, uh, like, everything that's said about him is untrue and he'll, like, announce everything to us uh, shortly. And that will be the truth. We have Cody Rhodes there then. Uh, I think that's, I guess that's WWE, right? Uh, July 2023. August 2023, we have this black and white photo here of Danhausen. That is pretty cool. Uh, let's get through to September then. Well, we actually get Bianca Belair featured again, this time just by herself for September 2023. October then, I was thinking we might get something like dark Halloween themed, and we do. We actually have the House of the Black there, Buddy Murphy, uh, uh, Malachi Black, and Brody King I actually forgot. Uh, the name is there for just a second. I was about to say, like, Alistair Black um, from WWE. November, we have Edge, Hall of Famer, and Legend. And then December, yeah, I thought we might get something a little bit Christmassy, but we do just have Tony Storm there with, I think it's the AEW Women's Championship, is it? I'm not entirely sure there, but Tony Storm with the title. She obviously doesn't have that title anymore. And yeah, that's it. There is the back, just if you guys want to check that out too. Feeling around here, there's like an envelope, maybe. Let's see what it is. Ah, is it like a Christmas card or something? <laughs> oh, the Vince Hooster. <laughs> that's pretty funny. You get a, a wrestling themed Christmas card there. I've already forgotten what it says. You're fired, the Vince who stole Christmas. <laughs> that, yeah, that's pretty funny. Kind of Vince's head uh, there as the Grinch just has WrestleCrate UK on the back. Nothing, uh, well, Merry Christmas pal there inside. That's pretty funny. That's a nice addition uh, when you think about it for the December themed box considering it is Christmas. So yeah, definitely no DVD. We've got that vinyl figure in here though. We'll do that next then we'll do the t-shirt first. Uh, these t-shirts are always pretty cool. Always exclusive to WrestleCrate UK as well. I don't think I saw a teaser for what this one is. I mean, I've seen it's blue. It seems like there's kind of lots of designs and whatnot going on it, but I'm gonna show you guys first. There we go. I really cannot see in the viewfinder what that says, what it's all about. What do we have? The squared circle. Ah, yeah, well that's pretty cool actually. So it just gives you like a breakdown of everything in the ring. Turnbuckles, ring ropes, giants must step over, apron, the hardest part of the ring. Note to self, avoid it. Under the ring, perfect for helping weapons, uh, oh, pardon me, for hiding weapons, such as ladders and chairs, or, what does that say? Or, or leprechauns and tiny clowns. Spring makes the ring uh, bouncy. Yeah, quite interesting. So that's, that's quite a unique t-shirt there. I, I mean, I'll go in a little bit closer for you guys so you can see what I mean. But yeah, the squared circle. And yeah, it kind of gives you an overview of what everything is in the squared circle. I think that is a pretty cool tee. All right, and we'll do this vinyl figure next. They do have a name, but I can't remember what they are. Since I've been doing these mystery boxes, they actually haven't done any of these vinyl figures, but they did them all kind of before. They've been around for quite a while, WrestleCrate UK, and they did actually tease who this was gonna be. I don't know if you do get chase variants. I'm not entirely too sure. Let me just show you guys. There it is, a heavy crate champion. So that's what they're called, vinyl figures by WrestleCrate. So I guess they are unique then to WrestleCrate. So this is Diona Perazzo. I hope I am pronouncing that right. Uh, I think she's in Impact Wrestling right, but she did have um, like a run in WWE. Was it NXT? But I, I, like she looks familiar to me, but I don't like remember her too much if I'm being completely honest and I don't really watch Impact Wrestling. There are a bunch there on the back. This does say Series 2, so I don't know if this was Series 1. If someone's collected these WrestleCrate UK mystery boxes before, um, can let me know in the comments section below. I know I've seen the Pete Dunn one before, and we've obviously got Moustache Mountain, and uh, yeah, I honestly can't say uh, I'm too sure who the others are there on the flanks, but yeah, it is a pretty cool little figure, to be honest, a little like vinyl figure. I collect a lot of vinyl figures, not just Fungo Pops, just a few there behind me, and obviously some over there. Uh, well, the where my finger's going is a bit weird. You guys know what I mean, that big uh, display cabinet over there. I couldn't think of the word, but yeah, that is pretty cool. And then our final item, guys, is the signed art print that we always get, or signed photo, whatever it is. It's always a signed item. There is only one in this month's box, but we have been treated to a whole bunch of really cool goodies so far. And this has also, or was also, 
I use the word spoiled, it's spoiled right, like teased or shown off. Uh, was it shown off? Teased. Let's say it was teased. And there it is, guys. So it is a signed photo there of, I was, is it, Kon I think it's Konoski, right? It's not Konosuke, it's Konoski Takashita. Signed to AEW and it's not New Japan, is it? Is it, is it Pro Wrestling Noah? I think it might be. Um, oh no, DDT. I think it's DDT Wrestling actually and AEW. had a recent match. Was it John Moxley? I think. But um, yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, signature there. If you guys have been watching though, I don't really like where they sign on like parts of the body or whatnot. I much prefer like the signings to be on the corner or in the corner, I should say. And yeah, he's kind of signed like kind of around his crotch area to be honest and where the uh where his name is uh but in in quite a nice gold pen but yeah it just would have been nicer if it was up there i guess he didn't want to like um y you know take like like put his signature over the money maker the face right there but uh yeah there is the signature in gold if you guys can make it out there in the light but yeah still pretty cool this guy an up-and-coming uh wrestler he's quite popular already and uh, yeah, Chris Jericho has certainly spoken very highly of him. And just to double check everyone, guys, we have the cheat sheet here. It actually features Austin stuttering Santa from that bauble decoration rather than the signed print. So then we have Takashita... Ta yeah, Takashita exclusive autograph, squared circle exclusive t-shirt, stunning Christmas bauble, Diona Peruzzo vinyl figure, I hope I pronounce her name right, Dead Man Tarot Pin, 2023 wrestling calendar, Christmas card, and North Wrestling Show. That's all it says, no like subscription thing or anything like that. It does actually say down here we've gone digital, I don't know if that means these are not going to be coming anymore, but there is like a scan me thing, so... I guess you could just scan that to see it in a digital format, but yeah, I don't know what's going to be coming for the future. Speaking of the future, nothing teased for next year either. I guess maybe they've had to get this box out very quickly. As I said, it normally comes around the 24th, 25th, 26th of each month, with that being Christmas. They've obviously got it out earlier, so they've probably not prepared anything for January. So yeah, a shame we don't have a teaser, but you know what? That is what it is. They always produce the goods, and they certainly have produced it in this December box. And well, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. What was your favourite item in this month's box? And as always, we have plenty more content on the way for you guys. In tomorrow's video, we are continuing with our series of Naruto Kaiyu unboxings. Speaking of card collections, I do also have the Charizard Ultimate Premium Collection from Pokemon to open up. We're going to be checking that out on the weekend. We also have some Star Wars content, a really, really cool statue to show off to you guys, as well as more Funko Pop parcels due in so plenty of content to come make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one peace out nerds